Today, we are here with Mary Ellen Jones, the Vice President of Asia Sales for Pratt & Whitney, and the President of the Wing Club, and the Chair of Hartford Bradley International Airport. She is a lady who wears many hats in an industry where you don't see a lot of ladies uh, <laughs> right at the top. Mary Ellen, thank you so much for joining us on the Not Legacy Show. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Given you wear so many hats, how do you do it? <laughs> That's the first question. <laughs> Well, I think you have to have the right level of enthusiasm and passion for what you're doing, right? right. So that makes it fun, right. okay? So that makes you want to do it. Obviously, you have to be well organized uh, as well, and you have to have good teams supporting you. So I'm fortunate in all of those right. areas. And I guess I would add maybe one or two more hats, and mm -hmm. you know, and that I'm a, I have a family. I have a husband, Th that's right. and I have a 20-year-old son. Right. So those are kind of my favorite hats, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> this requires a lot of leadership. How would you describe your leadership style as? Uh, I, I like to think of myself as very open and accessible and approachable. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I love my job at Pratt Whitney because I engage with my customers right. uh, and I enjoy that. And as I said, I have a great team supporting me. So, you know, one of my favorite parts of my job and probably the favorite part of my day is when I just kind of cruise the aisles at the office when I'm in town and when my That's team is nice. in town just to kind of, you know, pop in with the team, you know, talk about what's happening, talk about whether it's strategic issues, mm -hmm. tactical issues, family stuff, fun stuff. Wow. Just just that engagement mm -hmm. and you know just establishing that trust yeah and that builds the rapport yeah. right the right. connections important now is that what you would advise women looking to lean in and and make it big in you know aviation uh, that's what I would advise women and men both okay. looking for me and it is, it is not a gender specific uh, right. skill set I don't think. Right. So yeah, I mean ultimately this business, I mean there's a lot of technology, mm -hmm. there's a lot of big money going back and forth, right. but ultimately there's a human connection, right. Right? there's a human element that's mm -hmm. very important in, in any successful enterprise. Right. Uh, so I think you know making sure that young people are aware of that as they enter this or any industry mm -hmm. is that it's not just about the technology, the machinery, the money. It's about who you're working with and, and what you feel strongly right. about. Right, and it seems like in each of those you are really, you know, pushing the envelope. You, you just got Aer Lingus to start flying to Bradley. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're getting the ex-Boeing chairman to come speak at Wings. Which role do you enjoy the most? Well, I, I mean, I like them all, otherwise I wouldn't do them, right? right. I, mean, I love my day job at yep. Pratt & Whitney. I've been at Pratt & Whitney a long time. I've had right. multiple opportunities and positions there. And again, you know, engaging with the customers is mm -hmm. terrific. Um, you know, the Wings Club, um, you know, I'm, I'm very honored to be president of the Wings. There again, it's a lot of engagement with customers, with OEMs, with airlines, with the industry as a mm -hmm. whole. And we do a lot of mentoring and we provide scholarships at the Wings Club to ensure we're establishing a good pipeline of talent to come into this industry. You know, so many of us love it. We want to make sure it's here and successful for the long haul. Right. Um, and then I chair the Connecticut Airport Authority, which as you say, looks after Bradley and five general aviation airports. So that's been a new side of the aviation business for me. Um, and that's very important to the state of Connecticut, where I live, where my company is headquartered. And so there's a lot of you know, fun and interesting and challenging things to do there. Right. So I, you know, I've just been fortunate uh, you know, that in my many years in the industry to have established a strong network and be able to take advantage of some of these opportunities that's as they come along. That's fantastic. Now, the, the personal leadership story is so interesting. So the next part of this interview is called what we call the rapid fire round. Ah in which I'm going to ask you a question and you can reply in one word max to Oh brother, sometime. okay. All right? So let's start with an easy one. What's your favorite book? Hamilton. I saw the show, loved the show, and now I'm reading the book. You managed to get in the show because I believe there was a long queue getting in yes, there. Yes, I did manage. Yeah, even President Obama <laughs> couldn't get to view it after some time. Uh, I had better connections than he does, <laughs> apparently. Uh-huh. <laughs> the point to note for everyone. Uh, what would you advise your 20-year-old self? Well, that you know what? I have a 20-year-old son, so I, I can easily pass my wisdom okay. along. And I think the big thing is to, to have the right attitude and to go with your gut. I've learned along the way, and this is more than one word, obviously, but I've learned along the way that if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. So even you know, if, if you're looking for an opportunity, if the money's good or the, the prestige is good, but you're just not feeling that, that gut mm. sense, then it's probably better to pass. Okay. Let's do a few favorites. Favorite airline? Pass. I've got too many customers out there. <laughs> okay, let's do an easy one. Favorite car? Uh, okay, I've got an Audi A7, so that, I'll say that. That's, okay. that's easier. Okay. I won't put... Favorite airport? Bradley International. I enjoyed the transit. It was just in and out and quick. That, mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And finally, the best piece of advice you've received in a career? 
Uh, I think probably to just go for it. You know, um, d you know, don't hold back. Have confidence in yourself. Uh, and I think that's something I do pass along to a lot of people that I mentor too, and, and maybe particularly women, where women tend to think they need to have all 100 of the characteristics that people are looking for in a job. And I think sometimes men think that they're okay with maybe 75. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I tell women in particular, look, you know, you're not, you're never going to have 100% of what people are looking for. Be confident in what, in what you do have, and the rest will come. Right. And when in doubt, do you ask or do you dare? <laughs> Usually dare, but uh, but with uh, careful research. <laughs> Fantastic. Sometimes better to ask per uh, forgiveness rather than permission, right? There, there you go. So mm -hmm. I follow the same philosophy. Mm -hmm. My team knows that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Mary Ellen, okay. for joining us My on the Legacy Show, and do continue inspiring women and men around the world. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.